we're back here with another video and you're probably wondering what in the world happened to your voice Gordon listen after an entire week of screaming and shouting on the phone hanging out with friends my voice has finally left my body and soul but that being said I'm proud to announce that today's video is sponsored by none other than simply safe and we're unveiling a brand new car on the channel now behind me you can see the Ferrari that was purchased several months ago by my good friend Anthony and you've been wondering what has happened to the car now for those who are not in the know this particular car is not a real Ferrari it is based off a Toyota Celica it looks pretty decent the rear looks very very convincing but there was an incident recently where someone tried to steal the car and smash through the driver's side window here completely shattering it glass everywhere total disaster now so what anthony unofficial my good friend decided to do was remove the front windshield right here that way he can paint the dashboard do a few more tidbits on the interior and really touch this thing up he took some of the door panels off right there on the side that way he can really really fix up the interior and make this look absolutely pristine for future videos boys and girls now i'm here to present today's video sponsor because unfortunately anthony's ferrari was broken into as he saw earlier and the motion sensors on his current security system did not pick up anything at all in the middle of the night he's got two cameras out there and it picked up absolutely nothing totally antiquated totally outdated and that's why we have to present today's video sponsor that is simply safe with all the stuff that they sent me right over here we wish we got the footage from this old security system and unfortunately we just don't have it we genuinely think that the robbers really thought the Ferrari was an authentic real ferrari and that footage would have been absolutely amazing to show you guys and see the absolute confusion on the robber's face that being said let's install the simply safe system and make sure this household is secure they're a reliable home security system that shipped right to your door you could set it up yourself in under an hour and from there your home is protected around the clock we just set up the system to make sure the ferrari doesn't get messed with and as you can see we have a perfect view of the car with their new outdoor wireless security camera that features a 140 degree field of view 1080p hd resolution and even a built-in spotlight with color night vision Within an hour, we completely armed his house, and now everything can be controlled right from his phone. There's also sensors to cover every window, room, and door, smart locks, video doorbells, water sensors, and more. Once you set it up, your home is protected 24-7 by their professional monitoring service, and if they're alerted to anything, they'll take the appropriate action to make sure the police get called. And best yet, their monitoring service costs less than a dollar a day, and there are no long-term contracts, so you could start and stop at any time with no hidden... With no with no Don't hidden fees. fees. If you want one for yourself, save 20% on your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and get your first month free. Visit simplysafe.com slash fspot to learn more. All right, guys, currently here. About to take delivery of the Tesla. It's the long range model. I believe it's the all wheel drive. So we got the Benzo out here. We got the Prius and there she is in blue with the arrow wheels. Wow, this is awesome. They just dropped it off. Bada beam, bada boom. Brand new car. I have not bought a brand new car ever. This is the new daily, just to really kind of replace the aging Prius. As you can see, the bumper on this thing is completely shot. The front light doesn't really work. Brakes are a little shot. A lot of damage on the side. It's showing its age with like 230,000 plus miles. As you can see here in the trunk, this plastic piece right here actually flexes. Oh, there it goes. It just completely came apart. You just snap it back on, but opening the trunk is kind of an issue. All right, we got the app. It's unlocked. Let's hop in here. First impressions, not bad. Okay, okay, okay. Let's hop in here. Oh, oh yeah. Roll it in a new Tesla. This is super exciting. We got the old Prius and now we're in the new. We made it boys and girls. We got the two physical Tesla key cards. The other one's right here. You sync the entire car on your Tesla app. So in early January, I was talking to Stratman, James, and I was like, dude, do I pull the trigger on this Model 3? The Prius is showing its age. Uh, I kind of want an electric car just to test the waters and see what the hype's all about. And he says, Gordon, just do it. YOLO it and here we are three months later in a brand new Tesla Model 3. You're probably wondering why did I go with the performance package and honestly 
I just don't feel like I needed it. I don't need to go another second quicker zero to 60. Man, I gotta say, this Tesla is too nice for me. It's so weird being in a brand new car and there she is, the old Prius. That's where it all began. And of course, the S600 on the streets. We'll be parking this in the garage very soon, but man, she is looking mighty fine like a dime. We're gonna do a quick walk around and make sure everything is on the up and up. I know Tesla has some quality control issues that we're gonna have to uh, be on the lookout for, but that being said, so far, so good. Initial impressions, pretty sick. There's a pretty funny story on the news recently saying that people taking delivery of the brand new Teslas were not getting the same tires on all sides of the car. So I suppose they're Michelins and we are looking pretty good on this side here. But yeah, people were saying they're getting two different tire manufacturers, different set on the rear and different set on the front. But we're rolling pretty good here. Michelins on all four sides. I think we are groovy. Oh yeah. There she is, the V12 Behemoth, 27 gallons. It, it costs a whopping $160 to $180 to fill up, but we got to put Mr. Sheep back in here. This is the same one that I saved off the highway when he fell out the window when I did a pull somewhere in the dreaded OC. But he's back there, better than ever, just chilling, still with one eye. When the window regulator failed, I actually had to take all the value that was out of the car. And of course, I took Mr. Sheep out because you don't want this guy to get stolen. So, he's back. As with any inaugural car that's added to the Spa fleet, we got Mr. Sheep here. Hop it in. We're going to put him right there. Look at that. That is perfect. I love it. It's a little crazy seeing the differences between these two blue cars. One's fully electric. One is a V12 6 liter gas guzzling, insanely loud with the $12,000 brilliant exhaust system. Man, what a strange combination of cars that I have. My SVR, the Jag was blue, the M4 was a Yaz Marina blue, we got the Midnight blue on the S Class, and we got the standard blue on the model 3 my buddy chris morrison picked one of these up around seven to eight months ago and we're at the supercharger he brought up to los angeles we're chilling and he goes goran watch this i can watch youtube netflix twitch have all the spotify streaming services he's got games and here we are boys and girls we finally made it we got the f spot channel on the main screen in my new daily super excited this is really one of the main reasons why i picked this car up this to me guys is a momentous occasion. I've never personally purchased a brand new car. The Prius was a hand-me-down, it was used. Uh, the M4 and the SVR were leases. The other subsequent cars, the Century, the Bozoka car, the, the Gallardo, the S600, those, oh, those cars are all old. They're all like 2008, 2000, 94. I honestly don't know what I did to really deserve this. I really cannot thank you guys enough for all the support, all the love, for watching my channel throughout all these years. Um, it's kind of crazy how far we've gone. That being said, this is potentially the new Elite Mobile. We still might be going back to the Prius. I really don't know what to do with that thing. I really thank you guys for all the support and love. It's time to hit the road and film some action. That is a pretty decently spec 600 LT McLaren. Not gonna lie, not bad, not bad. Hold on a second, you guys can't see it, but look at the color on this Urus. Oh no, my zoom, it's not working. That's pretty sick. Got a G-Wagon Cabriolet passing by right there. And we got an Impala. That is sick. Oh yeah. Chevy Impala. That is not a 300 mile per hour uh, addition. It's not an all exposed carbon fiber. There's no orange stripes on the front of the hood. It looks like one, but it's not one. It tricked me for like a split second, but it is now currently in front of the Wilshire. Yeah. The professional always taking photos with the ladies. <laughs> How much she charge for his services? <laughs> Three ninety nine. <laughs> okay. Cool with this pose right there. Strike pose. Damn. Damn. Nathan, you're up, man. You gotta do one for the. You gotta yeah, like right? a bumble photo. <laughs> bumble pig. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Wow. Oh, there wow, it he's, is. Got the, he's got the phone. He's got the phone. <laughs> this thing looks absolutely insane in the sunlight. Look at the front fenders right here. Homage to the ED110. 
Giros Super Sport. I don't know if these are limited. GT3 in the back, not bad. A couple Ferraris rolling by, but man, I really thought this was the 300 mile per hour edition, but it is not the exposed carbon fiber. It doesn't have these stripes that go from the front all the way to the back. Similar spec though. That thing is insane in the rear. Look at that. That's awesome, man. What a car. This is the first customer owned one that we've seen on the streets. It's usually the dealership ones at O'Gara or the corporate ones from Bugatti. But alas, we are finally here. And check out the front grill. 16. Looking pretty damn clean. Check out the dogs. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> oh man, look at them. Little foof squad going on over there. Yeah, like Mr. Sheep. Just chilling in the back. That's worst off spec material. It's got chrome stripes all over. It's got blue wheels, yellow calipers, and the painted license plate. Let me see the license plate. Oh, oh yeah, it is painted. Okay. Oh shit. Let's try to. Oh, he saw me filming. Hell yeah, yeah. Hey, check out the Bugatti. We got the. Uh, Super Sport, right over there, doing a couple laps on rodeo. We're bringing the old school leap back, and we got the LFA from Tori's Garage here. They just cruised on by, and then the Chiron Super Sport is parked right there as well. We got the uh, the vans. Oh yeah, they're coming around. Unfortunately, the LFAs are nearing the one million dollar mark, so I don't know. We'll see, guys. Hopefully one day, fingers crossed. This is some OG 2014 Leap vibes right here in Los Angeles. Hold on, wait for it. That's insane. There you go. Oh, it's turning around, it's turning around. Oh, come back. Come back. It's not really worst off spec per se, but eh, it's all right. Straight up influencers in the wild. Oh, they got the shot. He was on the hood for like a split second. It gets even better. There's more influencers behind this influencer. Hold on, they a little photo shoot there. Oh, jeez. Influencer squared. Bam.